Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Today is another one of those tough chapters that can bring a lot of questions that I don't have the answers for. It is with chapters like these that I seek further counsel from fellow brothers and sisters who have walked in the faith a lot longer than I. Talking of which, I'm eagerly seeking out volunteers to help with the reading of Psalm 119. Please get in touch with me by writing to dailyvisionbible at gmail.com I'll send you a section to read, and you can send me back a video of you reading that section. There is no rush for getting the reading back to me either, because we are still in the early stages of the Old Testament. I'm just letting people volunteer now, so that those who do volunteer have plenty of time to create their videos. It's Leviticus 21 today. Let's open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. We also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Leviticus, chapter 21 Yahweh said to Moses, Speak to the priests, the sons of Aaron, and say to them, A priest shall not defile himself for the dead among his people, except for his relatives that are near to him, for his mother, for his father, for his son, for his daughter, for his brother, and for his virgin sister, who is near to him, who has no husband. For her he may defile himself. He should not defile himself, being a chief man among his people, to profane himself. They shall not shave their heads, or shave off the corners of their beards, or make any cuttings in their flesh. They shall be holy to their God, and not profane the name of their God, for they offer the offerings of Yahweh made by fire, the bed of their God, therefore they shall be holy. They shall not marry a woman who is a prostitute, or profane, they shall not marry a woman divorced from her husband, for he is holy to his God. You shall separate him, therefore, for he offers the bread of your God. He shall be holy to you, for I am Yahweh, who separates you, I am holy. The daughter of any priest, if she profanes herself by playing the prostitute, she profanes her father, she shall be burned with fire. He who is a high priest among his brothers, upon whose head the anointing oil is poured, and that is chosen to put on the garments, shall not let the hair of his head hang loose or tear his clothes. He must not go in to any dead body, or defile himself for his father or for his mother. He shall not go out of the sanctuary, or profane the sanctuary of his God, for the crown of the anointed goal of his God is upon him. I am Yahweh. He shall take a wife in her virginity, a widow or one divorced, or a woman who has been defiled or a prostitute. He shall not marry, but a virgin of his own people shall he take as a wife. He shall not profane his offspring among his people, for I am Yahweh who separates them. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Say to Aaron, None of your offspring, throughout their generations, or as a defect, may approach to off the bread of his God. Whoever man he is, that has a defect, he shall not draw near. A blind man, or a lame, or he who has a flat nose, or any deformity, or a man who has an injured foot, or an injured hand, or hunchbacked, or a dwarf, or one who has a defect in his eye, or an itching disease, or scabs, or who has damaged testicles. No man of the offspring of Aaron the priest, who has a defect, shall come near to offer the offerings of Yahweh made by fire. Since he has a defect, he shall not come near to offer the bread of his God. He shall eat the bread of his God, both the most holy and of the holy. He shall not come near to the veil, or come near to the altar, because he has a defect, that he may not profane my sanctuaries, for I am Yahweh who separates them. So Moses spoke to Aaron, and to his sons, and to all the children of Israel.